Hey guys, Lynn here, and welcome to another Minecraft Modern Say Let's Build. Today, we're going to start a brand new modern build. It's going to be McDonald's. Um, we have built it already over there, so it's going to be a tutorial of the McDonald's. It's over there beside our Italian restaurant, so you've probably seen it a lot already if you watch the Italian restaurant Let's Build. But we're going to build it right here next to this petrol station, and we will hopefully get it done in two or three videos. And like all builds, I won't be doing the interior, but I may get around to it at some point. So we're going to get started straight away. And we're going to be using these materials. We're going to need block of coal. Or if you're not using the plastic texture pack like I am, just any dark block, black or dark gray. And I'm going to be using red, red wool. I also have white wool. And then I'm going to be using, let's see, spruce wood slabs. Okay. So you're going to need a decent space to build this on. I'd say about 50 by 50 is uh, good enough. And what we're going to do is just place down your first block. I have this 7 away from there and 7 away from here. And that's just because I have mine built a certain way so I can fit in a road but yours doesn't necessarily have to be that far away. You can put this right up against the edge because I will just be having some trees going down this side. Okay, so you can place in your first block. And then we're gonna go along by this way by another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's eight all together. And then we're gonna take the three last ones and we're gonna go up by another one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven all together. We can dig out some little holes there. We're gonna fill those in with beacons just so they light up the hole of the outside and they help light up the inside as well. So we can just place one beacon behind each of those like that. We can destroy this. For now. So we're, we have the first wall kind of on the uh, the back of our McDonald's and then we're gonna go diagonal from there like that and we're gonna build a window. So we're gonna leave a space of three, one, two, three. As you can see there that works out perfectly for the edge here and this is gonna go all the way up just to the same height as this and you can arch that across. Okay and again because it's a window we can fill that in just with a window pane. Now you could choose glass block if you want to, but I prefer window pane. All right, so that's gonna be kind of the side wall for our McDonald's. When the ball goes down this way, we will be putting on some white wool right here and building a window. But we will do that when we come to do this side, okay? So you can just leave that for now. We just kind of start here, but we're going to continue going down this way for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to build three windows and we're going to make them five wide each. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. And one final one, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. And then you can attach all these on again right at the top. And we can fill those in with glass pane. And there's not too much detail on this side of the build because when I built it originally, this was kind of the uh, the back. So you didn't really see it, but we may add on something that looks too plain. To be honest, that's kind of facing this way anyway. So this is not the side you're going to see. The side you're going to see in this build is going to be facing from the main road here. So. We will just leave this uh, the way it is. All right, so you can fill in all your windows here. We're gonna put in some spruce wood slabs along the top of the red bit here, just to add in a little bit of detail over the roof or under the roof. 
so this is going to be the easy part. I'm not sure how long this will take to build, but like all of my tutorials, I try and make them three videos, four at most. Just I think anything longer than that is a bit too long for a tutorial. Alright, so we have three windows there. We're going to place in a line of spruce slabs going from here, right along. And then we're going to place on underneath, but just above the windows. Okay, whenever we come to these bits, we can leave them. There we go. Okay. And that will also support a roof, which will go along the top like that. Okay, but again, we will do that when we come to it. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next side. It's just going to be the exact same as this, so we just pretty much have to copy that. One, two, three space, all the way up. You can bring that over and you can fill that in with windows. So there's going to be a lot of windows in this build. There we go. And again, we could copy the coal, so that goes up by seven here, and then along the bottom by five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we can take out these and fill in the beacons. So guys, don't forget, if you want me to build anything that's modern city related, you can just leave your suggestions in the comments, and I will probably get around to building it. It could be anything at all, or else, if you don't suggest things, I just pretty much build modern houses. Which will be the next thing that we do a tutorial on as well, so... But don't forget, you can suggest things that I will try and make them. And um, let's see, yeah, that will do for now. We can do the next part, which is the window, like I said, for over there, but we need to build one for this side. So we're going to place white going along here. Okay. We're going to turn the corner here, and we're going to go down by, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can bring the white down that way. And then we're going to bring the white up here, just so it's the same height as this. All right. And then you can see that kind of makes a window shape. So we could just fill in glass pane going along this way. You could turn the corner there. And we'll fill this all the way in. This white wall will continue on the inside going along this way. But that's only if you want to uh, kind of make a separate room when we do the interior. I know I don't do the uh, decoration for the inside, but I will add in the walls and the stairs if there are any to be added. Oops, there we go. Um, do we need one for the top there? No. Yeah. There we go. And so we've just got a pure roof on top of that. Alright, so I'm going to go to sleep now. And then we will get started on here, which is going to be the front door. Alright guys, that's one side pretty much finished. We just have to put on a roof. And then we obviously need the big M sign that goes right there. But we're going to continue around this way. We're going to finish off this side. This is going to be our front door. So all you have to do is place a red block right there. And we're going to do the same as here pretty much. So we'll go up by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the next three are going to go down like this. Okay, so it's kind of like the same theme, just a different color. So that will be the same there. Like that works out. You can place beacons here, but you can place them on the inside this time. Okay. In actual fact, I think for these, we'll place the beacons on the inside. We don't need them sticking right on the inside there. It just takes up unnecessary space on the inside. But that still looks good. Um, let's see, we can add on a line there and there. And then we can continue that pattern again, going round where you dig out every second one. But instead of adding in beacons this time, we can just add in glass panes to make them windows. Okay. And then we're going to leave a space of five. 
one, two, three, four, five, and then we can just repeat that entire part there that we just built on this side. So up by three windows, we can take it around this way, and then we can bring this along by five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and what we can do now is we can fill in, well actually we'll fill in this middle part first. Get some squishy blanks and you can fill that in along the gap there and there and you can just fill this in with a big window like that. But what we can do now is we can fill in the entire of the top here with red because this is going to be a roof. Okay. And then basically what we have to do after this is just repeat this pattern going right round to the other side. So that's that done. We can put in our beacons on this little wall here. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, that's right. We can repeat this window here over to this side now. So if we just bring our white block right down to one above the ground and that's where your coal will be placed and then I think it was nine one two three four five six seven eight nine then it goes along by eight and that's where we bring up this so pretty much the back and the front are identical which is something I do in most builds just because it saves time. There's no need for both sides to be different unless you have both sides that are kind of like visible and you want both sides to be different. But since there's only be one side that's on the road, both sides don't really need to be visible. All right, so I'm adding in these windows. I'm just gonna leave this till the end. You already know where to fill in the windows. We're gonna bring our red block here out and across so you can see I'm just repeating what we did to begin with like that and then this will go right along and match the other side across here so we can just even see that it lines up so it'll be placed on that block there and then if we measure it it should work out if we've done it the right. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. And then one, two, three, four, five, all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. Okay, again, I'm just gonna leave those windows till the end. One, two, three. There's no need for me to uh, fill those in. You know where to fill them in, so you can just fill them in on your own once the uh, video is finished. We can bring up our final wall that looks like this. Fill those in with beacons and go along by one, two, three, four, five. Okay, guys, so that was kind of like a lot of work for kind of the main walls. The only one we have to do now is the back wall, which is just going to be pretty much this here, except it's going to go right along. There's not going to be a space for a door. Okay, so we just have to copy this. We can just attach this one onto the other side so we just bring it right along and then we can bring along the white one going along the top and the only difference is we can just put a, a line of red going right down the middle so that way we can kind of see where the uh, both halves of the building are but we find the middle it should just be about here that's the middle so we can just put a red block going right down there okay so we're gonna fill in all of this with windows. So it'll be all the way up to there and it'll be right round. Okay. And we'll make this the same height as that there. I think that's it. One more. Okay, so you have to fill in all of that with window and then you can do the same on this side. Right round to here. And again, guys, I will just leave you to fill that in on your own. 
But what we can do now is we can get started on the roof. And once we've done that, we're pretty much finished the entire of the actual building. We'll just be left to do the outside parts, which kind of uh, make the, the building look much better if you do the outside. And we will get started on the interior probably in the second video as well. And in the third one as well. And um, let's take a look. Yeah, I think what I have is if we just take one of these corners, for example, okay, just go over the edge by one, okay, like that, and then if we go right round this way here and bring this white wool over the top of the red line that we built on the back window, right there, okay, we're just going to build a big square right across the top. Okay, this is going to go right along and it's going to go across the top of these spruce wood planks that we built. We have to add in those spruce wood planks to the other side, I've not done that yet. All the way around here. When we get to any corner, you can just keep going past it. And then on this side, okay, we're not going to go over the top of this red. We're just going to go one sticking out, so what I mean is we'll just go one past this window. Like that. And then you can just place one wool on top of this red. And then you can skip all these ones and continue it going around this way. Okay, and then these two will attach on. Um, the only thing we have to do now is add our spruce wood onto these red parts. And then we have to fill in this entire square with white wool. Okay, so I'll add in these spruce right now. So remember, it's right along. And then you can just place in your spruce wood above the windows again there. And that just kind of supports the roof. We just have to add in windows, I think, now. For the actual walls. So guys, we've done quite a lot in this episode and um, I think yeah I think we will get the final part finished of the roof so we can get all of it done for the start of the next video and that way I think I will have enough time to maybe do the interior so let's see actually no I'll just leave it for now we'll get that done in the next video but what you can do guys is you can fill in all your windows and this middle part here, okay, don't fill that in with white wool. You're just going to attach this all the way down until it attaches onto the other side, okay? So all the way down to here, and then you can do the same on this side. And then this middle part, we can just leave blank for now because we're going to add another part to the roof. But you can fill in this rectangle here, this rectangle here, and all of the windows, okay? And you should have that done for the start of the next video. Okay, guys? And then the next one, we will definitely finish the building because, well, it's practically finished already. We can add in our final part to the roof, and we'll get started on the outside, which is what makes this building look kind of cool, I think. All right, guys? So if you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.